Vegas. 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 In the upper left, up bottom right. Upper left, bottom right. Oh, God. I'm getting trolled by Legend, legend is right getting now. way too All fancy. Right. <laughs> In the upper left, we've got our Terran player. He is... X Shumnyong. Glad of support from Young in here. Old time GSL player. Eager to get to the finals, but this is going to be his biggest challenge yet. He is going to have to win two more games. This game and the next against this guy over here in the bottom right. And he is MVP Sniper. We have stepped it up with these, yeah. these player intros, man. Okay, so... We have a pretty standard opening by these guys. The Rax is in the main base. That's the first thing you got to look for on three on. And there's a drum going across the map, so he's going to see exactly what's going on. That this, in fact, does yeah, look like I mean, it's going to be normal. He's going to he's going to play a very normal game. He just wants to make sure that everything is. There's no surprises here. Mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of these really good Zergs nowadays are basically saying, as long as I have enough information, I should not lose this. Yeah. And it looks like the drone now doing a little bit of harassment over here. Well, you know, this is this is kind of a, a little bit of a weird day so far, Tasteless. Cause it is. We were talking before about how, like, basically all the Zerg matchups right now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so <laughs> we were talking before about how a lot of the Zerg matchups turn into Infestor Broodlord. Have we seen any Broodlord? No, today? that's what's what, so weird about it. We haven't seen Infestor Broodlord, and yeah, I, I always it's a CBT number eight. And yeah, yeah, seen. there's been no Infestor uh, Broodlord, so I wouldn't mind seeing some of that. But it's interesting to see that some of these Zergs are now uh, defaulting to kind of a mid, late mid game mm -hmm. win, and a lot more timings, in fact. Yeah. You know, I feel like some of these Terrans. They learned early on that, okay, if I cripple the Zerg, the Zerg is always behind. No matter what I do, I win. But then the Zerg started to get so good at stopping that early attack that was a, supposed to cripple them. And then the Zerg says, oh, okay, well, he's now behind. He invested into this attack that I didn't, that I deflected because I practiced perfectly. And now I always kill you with the timing. Mm. Well, you know, that's how a game gets figured out. And then metagame can move forward. Yep. All right, so everything's still looking very normal. Ryung going into that uh, command center. And what is this? He, is he going to hide? Nah, I don't think he's actually going to hide anything there. He might just scout, scout with that later on. Yeah, I think that's what that's for. I would be really It'd be like surprised. the weirdest, latest, like, hidden star port that wouldn't do anything. But yeah. Um, all right, so he's going to be taking uh, probably a third base pretty soon here. Yeah, he should be. I mean, it's such a large map, and he's already getting speed. That all kind of lines up and say, ah, you know what? Take that base, get some decent creep spread. Keep an eye on where any Hellions might be coming, sure, but uh, should be able to hold it reasonably easily. All right, I got a question for the audience. How many of you guys have actually had the uh, chance to gamble down here? All right, now you got to be honest here. All right. How many of you are up? Yeah? All right, now how many of you are down? Yeah! <laughs> that guy out there? Excellent. I was doing great the first night, man. I, I like, I won like, what did I win? How much did I win? 160, 160 bucks. bucks. And I'm like, oh, I guess I'm really good at gambling. And then, uh, then I, then I, I, I an hour later, uh, lost, uh, I went, uh, but a hundred <laughs> more or something. It's, it's I got to stick to StarCraft casting. <laughs> I think that's a, that's a good idea, Tasteless. So, uh, as you guys could see, uh, Go to the GSL site and check out the yearly ticket for 2013. We've got a lot of great stuff coming up here this year. Oh, yeah. 2013. Um, that we definitely be. want you guys to uh, be part of. And again, guys, as always, thank you for spreading the word about the GSL. 
Um, I can't believe that esports is here where it is now. And, yeah. you know, we're hosting the biggest Korean show now here in Vegas. This is getting more and more international. Uh, so we got the starboard here. Banshee Hellion. You know, it's funny because, you know, uh, like a year ago, I was like, oh, that's so weird. You know, I wouldn't have thought people would go Banshee yeah, Hellion. Yeah. Now that's actually how you play TDZ. Just completely standard. And, you know, the one thing I do want to point out, Tasteless, is that the Overlord saw Banshee Hellion. But it didn't see the additional factory that Ryung has made. So we could see, like we saw from Innovation, him just show a handful of uh, the Hellions and then just bust out with a ton of blue flames. And in that case, I mean, anything can happen. If the Zerg doesn't block perfectly, you can go and kill every drone and the game right there. And I, I think we, we, might, yeah, we, we might be having that just here. So. Yeah. In fact, it's, Innovation did on this map as well. So exciting stuff to see. Kind of an MVP build. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, let's talk about this season. What a weird season. MVP, Nesty, all the heavyweights knocked out. MC. Every champion. Every champion is taken like, out. Yeah, they're all in code A. Yeah. Yeah. That's just so weird. It's, I mean, it's, it's exciting. Wild. It means that times are changing and, you know, other people are catching up. Well, I think most of them will be back. Oh, no, I'm sure they will be. But, I mean, for now, wow, these, uh, these other great players who are just... So dominant. Well, you know, I, I heard actually when uh, Nesty, you know, he won the Nesty award and then dropped out of Code S immediately thereafter. Yeah. He wants to be the first and the second person to win the Nesty award. Yeah, he's going to, that's exactly right. He's yeah. going to get back in there and stay in 10 straight GS. He need, he, look, the guy needs a challenge. <laughs> yeah. All right. I get it, man. You got to stay motivated. Um, so we got, I like the creep, by the way, up here in the upper right, just at the third base. But yeah, it's a, lot of, it's a, lot of, it's a lot of these little things that you can do that add up to something big. Yeah. And uh, you know what? This is, this is pretty interesting. This is, uh, Ryung is going into mech, whereas it looks like uh, Sniper's kind of setting up for the mass Ling, Bane Ling, Muta type of style, which isn't going to necessarily be too good against it, but hold on, these blue flame aliens coming into the third base. Not a ton of drones here, but still a very important area. All right, he's taking out a lot of drones. Got that clean as well. But the rest of the drones are actually up at the top. And, you know, okay, he's getting this queen, but the queen is at the goal, but here comes. Okay, they're getting the drones now. Doing a lot of damage. The drones uh, spread out, but it looks like none will survive. Three more. Three more Ooh. do not go down. That was a super shocker. I tried to preempt that play-by-play. -play. Uh, so the queen's now getting hit here. And this is a lot of damage, guys. Yeah, this is a ton and of damage. I, I don't really, I'm looking at this and I don't see, okay, where, where is the rest of the units? What what the hell is he going to do to try to actually stop this? Well, He's got see. Mutas, but Mutas are not going to kill this quick enough. Yeah, he got caught off guard once again, and these Hellions will go down, but the time he bought there is exactly what he needed. His Thors are going to be finishing up pretty soon. He's going to be able to get up some missile turrets relatively soon here, uh, or he should be able to. I don't actually see an engineering base still. Really? Really, real? Is he really? Yeah, get, definitely check. No, he's, he's chilling. That's he's the way this works, guys. Dan's actually got a preview screen so you can look around inside the game in case we aren't, you know, we're not seeing something. And now, he's got two Thors going to pop out, but those are not, like, that mobile. I mean, no. the, when, when you, you see a Thor, you can actually mistakes. elect whether or not you want to fight it. You can just, like, walk away and attack somewhere else. Oh. See? Like that. So, um, you know, he, I, I think the most of the base, though, is pretty airtight. All right, now we do have some Hellions coming down here. Muta is still doing a minimal amount of damage, I would say. Oh, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Look at this. Ryung is, he's fighting back, man. We might be able to actually see another uh, uh, game uh -oh. five here. The drones are being hit hard. Uh, not drones. a lot of drones there, though. That's uh, There's not really a way that, like, Ryung could have known that, but, I mean, he got down there and, you know, he's got five Hellions. He's like, ah, six drones, okay. <laughs> Not exactly going to pay for itself, but he is still you know, killing workers. Yeah. And, uh, you know, for Ryung to take this game at this point, let's, uh, let me just take a look. Yeah, he's killed 21 drones, which is pretty darn good. Uh, but Sniper's had three bases for a long time. He's getting really great upgrades. Uh, and I don't know that Ryung could actually do, like, a timing attack where he walks across the map and kills because there's a roach switch coming in, which you kind of want siege shanks against. So... That's going to slow down his army. I feel like if Ryung's going to win this game, he should bring it to a max. Like, he needs to yeah. max out. I agree. I, um... Well, you know, I, I, the, I, normally I, I criticize Terran players for being on the map too much in, in the mid-game where the Zerg it basically gets to have the map. But, but Ryung really makes it work, so... 
And we'll see if he goes for that this time around here. Now he is again going to go for this. Uh, we kind of we, we oftentimes refer to it as the Karn build. Um, <laughs> uh, the uh, Thors and Hellions coming out here now. Um, but you can't keep doing this because Azurg eventually will just adapt and kill it. But ooh, okay, nice hit there again. Yeah, strong. And moment. what? Oh, I see. Excuse me. He's going to be expanding over there. Wow, that's that's kind of that's cool a bold move. Take, yeah. they, they take the middle. I don't know if I've uh, seen even one GSL game where someone took that base yet. You know, normally when they expand, they uh, they like hug the, the edges of the map and kind of loop around. Oh, these Hellions might get a few drum kills, which is nice, but uh, you know, not not a big deal there to lose a couple drones at this stage of the game. Not a big deal. No, no, no. Not a big deal at all. Now, okay, now he's got the answer. And if you get a ton of roaches, you can take care of Hellions, Thors, no problems. Thors are good against him, but roaches are just so strong against um, Hellions. And then the roaches just overwhelm the Thors. All right, and he's going to get some Banelings too. Now, I, I love this style that we occasionally see with some Banelings against uh, clumped up mech armies like this. Because when you look at like Hellion Thor, it just naturally clumps up into a ball. All right, the orbital is being hit pretty hard here now. And uh, it looks like uh, you know, we're going to have to have. Uh, the Terra now turn around. Whoa, attacking up over here. Yeah, here he goes. A ton of roaches coming in. The Mute is going to tank some Thor damage. Do a good job. But does he have enough to actually break through here now? Those Sea Shanks dealing huge amounts of damage to Sniper's Roaches. But he's whittling down important parts of this army. You know, the important thing is that both Thors and tanks, it's a big deal when you lose it because yeah. it takes so long to remake it. And it's not like uh, you, know, you can have a reactor on that building for those units. So. Yeah. When you lose a bunch of Thors, it's like, oh, okay, well, now I'm back to square one. Or the same with tanks. So you remember, guys, when you're seeing these battles, the roaches are expendable. Yeah. You uh, can lose a ton of roaches and the, just have a ton more. Yeah, the delicate mech army is totally not. Yeah. Well, I mean, he did a really good job. Look, he's up by 44 supply, but that's not necessarily a huge, huge deal because it's all in roaches, which are very supply heavy for what they're actually worth. So the closer that Ryung gets to max, like when he hits 150, 160, he'll deal with this. But for right now, this is pretty scary. All right, here oh, here we don't go. All right, he backed up. And, uh, well, you know, I think one of the things that uh, Ryung is doing that's a mistake is he's left this uh, command center floating out here. So it's, like, very obvious that he's trying badly to get another base, which it just... Well, that makes sense, too, though, that he's trying to get another base, because we were talking about before, he should bring this to a long oh, game if he wants to win. Oh, totally, but I'm just saying, like, the fact that he's not getting in, he hasn't got it, he should probably land it and just start landing mules. I mean, it's floating yeah. there. It, lo it just it, it looks like the Terran's in limbo. The Zerk probably likes that. And, uh, by the way, Zerk's close to maxing out. Yeah. Uh, and going to have some very good attack and armor upgrades. Yeah, and he's going for Spire, even, I mean, for Hive, and even getting Corruptors out. So this will deal with Banshees for now. Uh, you can't underestimate Corruption on Thors. That's really a, a nice move. Helps the Roaches and Lings to kill them a lot quicker. And he is taking the fourth base, but it's a little bit slow. This is not really the timing that you want to see on the fourth base against Terran. Yeah. So this is one of these games. Nobody can really attack into the other one. Um, they're both turtled up pretty well. Um, and I think we're going to have to go to we're, we're going to have to wait for the Broodlord tech. Yeah. Here and look at that. Leung is so smart. He's already preempting it, getting a bunch of star ports. Now here's how the end game works, guys. The Zerg is going to get a bunch of uh, uh, corruptors and Broodlords with infestors. Then the Terran, if the Terran does it right, kills all the Broodlords and infestors with his Vikings. Then the Zerg switches into Ultralis because Vikings are terrible against Ultralis on the ground. Uh, and we might have another engagement here. Now, our Joseph and I have had a lot of talks about this. By the way, he is finally going to be able to reclaim this base over here. We, I, I, you, I, tell me if you have changed your mind on this. We really feel like when the Ultralis battle actually occurs, don't land them. Actually, just go kill overlords. Yeah, never land And supply your blocks, and there's no need to ever land Vikings. Uh, is Leon Hold actually going to attack here? I, I yeah, he's, he's pushing forward right now, and a lot of damage being done, actually, to both sides. The thing is, uh, you know, as the mech army loses pieces and supply in the push, it becomes weaker, a lot weaker. You actually need to hit your critical mass of mech. He still has that, though. He still has a really tough army. All right, a little counter over here. I don't think it's going to do too much damage. 
and it looks like Young is going to ignore. He is now moving downward. He has the third base in siege mode and the fourth base isolated and cut off. The counterattack here from Sniper has been rendered impotent. Uh, it looks like the hatchery is getting lower and lower and lower. Uh, but we got five siege takes not in siege mode. Yeah, and that's really helping him to actually close this gap. But does he actually have enough? These siege tanks dealing so much damage right now. Uh, more links are coming out. More roaches. But it's only well. tanks and that's it. Sniper taps out, and we will go to the final game, game number five. Wow, really strong comeback by Riosos. And tasteless. Yeah. Daybreak will be our decider. And what better map to do this on than Daybreak? This is a good way to figure out who's going to go to that finals. Yeah, definitely. Just as any fifth game is, Artosis. Yes. So uh, we're going to go um, on to Daybreak. And look, at this point in time, I'm on the fence. I don't really know. I, I think what happened in, after game number two, it just looks like Ryung opened up the dashboard, you know, changed the oil and, you know, fix a few things around. And now he has a new. He's got a new engine he's running off of. So who knows? It could be a ZBZ Finals. It could be a TVZ Finals. No matter what, it's going to be sick. I can't wait. Oh, I know. It's it's wildness. Who do you want, Tasis? Who do you want to win? I want Ryung. You want Ryung to win? Yeah, I mean, do you guys want... I mean, I'm, I'm okay if it's a ZBZ. Well, anybody want a ZBZ Finals? You don't say no. ZBZ is cool too, okay? The late game's is interesting. Matchup. These mirror matchup haters, man. Yeah. It's gotta be aliens versus humans. Come on! <laughs> bugs versus bugs is cool too. Yeah. You've all seen Thank that you for YouTube all your, video of, uh, I love Tastosis signs out there. Those guys so want to be best friends with us, Artosis. <laughs> of course. All right. Um, well, I think we're going to go into a break momentarily here. Uh, I think we're actually we're kind of piggybacked off the Korean stream, so whenever we're ready. Say hi, nerds. Oh, well, they're not going to do it? Oh, the other rest of the audience was on it. So okay, you, got, you, other guys were, you guys were on, on point. Um, well, all right, this is a big moment we got in both the booths, uh, the coaches, the players going in there. And, you know, they're going, they're going okay, well, what, what's the strat we got to use? Which, which build do we use? It, it's all going to come down to this. Daybreak is a map where you can do a lot of different stuff. It's not a, it's not like an Antigua shipyard, for instance, yep. I'd say. Not you that know, that map's not good, but it's a little bit rigid. What I'm really excited about here, Tasteless, is will one of these players cheese? Because if it's the final game of a very important match, you can really learn a lot about a player. Yeah, you really can. Uh, just by, I mean... If you will actually all in on that final game, which, I mean, we've seen MVP do it. We've seen some of these very top-end champion-type players just go, oh, yeah, well, I'm going all in here. This is what I think will work. Yeah, and you know, MVP's done that a couple times, and it really worked. Same with NASC, and those guys are multiple, you know, yeah. GSL champions. You know, like, a lot of times on the internet, you get these guys that are like, oh, I can't believe he cheesed. He didn't play the game right. But, I mean, look, you have to cheese a certain amount, or you just will not actually win in, uh, you know, whether it's a best of five or a major tournament that you yeah. have to go through. If you're doing the same thing or always playing traditional or orthodox, well, then people know exactly what you're going to do and they'll counter it. So, yeah. uh, you know, that's the beauty about when you get to a best of five is, is you have to have, you know, it's, it's kind of like, um, well, you know, like in baseball, they're going to wear the guy out with yeah. as many pitches and then, all right, you, know, you got to bunt this time. That's, you know, how you win a game of baseball. It's not just a bunch of home runs. That's true. How was that great metaphor? That was Joseph? perfect. I can tell you watch a lot of sports. I, thanks, guys. Um, so, uh, you know, it could go any way. Daybreak uh, is a very flexible map. Yeah, yeah. It, this is a map where if Ryung chose mech or he chose bio, I mean, both are good choices. You, they're both very solid. I, I feel like just for him and the way he plays and what he's good at, I wouldn't mind seeing the mech. Not to mention, I kind of yeah. like mech anyway, so that's Yeah, fine. we know you love your mech artosis. Uh, by the way, guys, don't forget... Um, there is a giveaway here yes. after this. So this is like GSL cards. this is sick nerd swag. Yeah, that, that thing right there. Um, and come here for the other uh, days too. I assume most people in here actually knew that they we're having GSL here and came ahead of time. But I don't know. There might be some people that have walked in here and are like, "What the hell is going on? What is this?" But we're gonna have StarCraft, uh, you know, for the next few days. Uh, so check out all the matches that are being held here. Um, and uh, at the Cosmopolitan, and it's, it's going to be great. And if you're not familiar with us, 
Uh, you could check us out at gomtv.net. We host the GSL based in Seoul, Korea, uh, where the best StarCraft II players reside. And this is the most competitive you know, routine show yeah. for StarCraft II on Oh, the there's planet. no question. I mean, we just import the players here and have it in America this time. A lot of fun. That's right. Now, I think, um, I think honestly, in this case, uh, with both these guys, they, actually, let's take another angle, in fact. Okay, let's take Leung. Yeah. He knows he's going to go up against a Zerg, so you've got to have your best. you still got to come up with some great builds in this short period of time, even though Hyun's like here in the, in the, in the uh, studio watching this. Oh, yeah, hashtag the GSL. Good call. We haven't said that yet, did we? <laughs> we'll have to save that. Yeah, we have to save that for the finals. No, don't do it yet. Don't, no, don't do it. it. No, don't do it yet. There's actually an art to hashtagging, guys. All right. Hot six is pretty good, actually. Now, um, I, I guess, I guess we're still kind of. All right. I, I think we're gonna have to kill a little bit more time. I guess screen streams uh, still talking, but yeah, man, this has been a blast to be down here. This is my second time uh, here in Vegas. Uh, is this your second? Third time. Third time down here. But this is the first time I've come down here with actual money because it was a StarCraft 1 Pro game when I came <laughs> down here before. So that makes a pretty big difference, man. All right. Um, I think we're going to go to a quick little break. And when we come back, we will have the final game of today's GSL Code S.